yeah, this is a pretty basic question. It is question one in the easy module. Uh, you're just really converting centimeters and meters. This is basic science, if not even basic math. Uh, but I would still use scratch paper and set this up correctly using the uh, fractions, proportions, and units because if you mess this up, yeah, you're losing 10 points for no reason and they are setting you up to mess it up. So let me show you why. So if we were to just create a set of proportions, what we would do is just create, uh, using this first piece here, the, the rate that they give us, something like this, so 100 centimeters over one meter, right? So you're just comparing the two sets of units, uh, put one on top, one on the bottom, it doesn't really matter which one is which, because as long as you mirror that on the other side with another fraction, it's gonna work out. So in this case, we wanna know how many meters, so that's kind of a, a clue telling us that's our X, uh, is equivalent to 2,300 centimeters. So I'm gonna put the 2,300 centimeters on top because the centimeters are on top on the other side and then on the bottom is the meters and it's okay that it's an X because that's the whole point, we're gonna solve for something. So the reason we can do this and, and it not matter whether the centimeters are on the top or the bottom is that we're gonna end up cross multiplying and dividing. So regardless, the same things are gonna get multiplied. So I'm gonna multiply the X times the 100, so that's 100 X and then one times 2300, so equals 2300. So there you go, now we have another equation we can solve. We would solve that just by getting X alone like we always do, so divide by 100. You could use a calculator if you need to, but remember one very quick thing when you're dividing by multiples of 10, uh, you can just kind of cross out zeros, right? It's basically just the equivalent of moving a decimal place. So the two zeros on the top, two zeros in the bottom, and then what's left is just 23, so that is the answer, so X equals 23. Now, again, this is easy. You could probably think about this in your head and be like, okay, well, if there's 2,300 centimeters and 100 of those is a meter, you might even not even have to think about division. You just be like, okay, 2,300. Like the way I say that number tells me the answer. But if you mess this up in some way, if for some reason you're just going too fast and you start to multiply, right, what happens when you multiply 2,300 by 100? Well, we get uh, we get this, we get uh, 230,000, right? So the wrong answer that you would get if you made the most common mistake is there. So you wouldn't have that moment of like, oh, I messed up. You would pick it and move on and think you're totally right and lose 10 points for no good reason. So even on some basic easy stuff, I recommend use the scratch paper, think it through, make sure you're not falling for anything or making a careless mistake because those are the points you wanna lock in the most.